All right, this round we're going to bring the uh, spinning rod uh, and then the uh, two-piece micro fly rod along with the uh, water wolf camera. Celebration, we've got the uh, two-piece micro fly rod along with that uh, fly that we mentioned earlier. And we've got the water wolf camera and hopefully get uh, something on here shortly. Alright, I uh, got a little bluegill on that nymph or that midge with the uh, two piece micro fly rod. Let's see if we can get it on uh, some live bait on this water wolf camera now. Uh, we've got the uh, water wolf camera on and we've got the little uh, bluegill. We'll cast it out here now. Alright, so we've uh, rigged up the water wolf camera so that uh, we've got the uh, little bluegill right on the end of the line. It's kind of out of sight and you'll see another bluegill come by and uh, something else will chase it and it'll kick up a lot of the uh, debris on the bottom and then uh, some of his buddies will come by and you kind of see him out in the distance just kind of sitting there and um, unfortunately uh, we didn't get any uh, strikes this round. The uh, line broke or at least the cabling broke uh, on our attachment to the water wolf camera but uh, at least we got some underwater video footage of some of the action down below and specifically uh, many of these bluegill uh, we think we caught a glimpse of maybe a catfish or a bass that went by that may have uh, caused the little bluegill that was uh, being used for live bait uh, to kick up and run around uh, but unfortunately I weren't able to hook up with them so just to recap uh, some of the things we saw we had our little bluegill on the bottom something scaring it and then shortly after that, uh, his buddies will be coming by, checking him out. And then soon after that, uh, we'll go ahead and shift back to fishing with our micro fly rod. Alright, another one. We'll just keep doing this until maybe we get a bite on that uh, water wolf camera. All right, uh, we're gonna call it quits here. But before we go, we'll do a real quick demo to give you an idea how far we um, cast with this guy. The microfly rod, two piece. Alrighty, uh, we've got the line out, and I'm gonna show where we're gonna cast out with the microfly rod. We've got the wind to our backs, and we've got a, a spot picked out. And we'll just go ahead and get some line out and get it started shortly get a cast out and you'll see one slow motion cast pretty much going the full length of the uh, fly line into the backing go ahead and do another one here and off it goes so um, we'll uh, speed things up here shortly and go ahead and pick up the uh, camera and start counting off what we did. Okay, we're gonna stand over here on this line. We're gonna stand over here on this line. We'll take it to the backing here. So that's that yellow piece right there. And then we'll just uh, take it out to this uh, length of the line. And we'll just do a real quick uh, step off and just see how far this thing really is. Just to give you an idea that uh, the castability of the uh, two-piece microfly rod. So there's one yard, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. About about eleven yards. Ten yards. Let's just say ten yards. And uh, we'll we're in the backing, or right at the backing is where we'll hold it. All right. Uh, here's another angle with the wind behind us. We're gonna go ahead and cast. Get things started. 
another shot out there. There it goes. And we just uh, showed where the uh, backing was when we uh, started the cast. Let's go ahead and try it again. Alrighty. Fun stuff. Two-piece micro fly rod. Really the only uh, difference uh, from our normal casting is just the timing and the start and stopping of uh, when we go and start our forward and back cast. So we actually uh, took it past the backing. So uh, if you don't count the backing, but we're at the tip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And there's our tip of our fly line. So 11 yards with uh, right at the tip where that backing is. So not bad. We got the wind behind us, so that is helping us. We'll try doing it at an angle and see how we would normally fish if we're dealing with wind. Let's try that. So we uh, normally uh, have problems with wind. We'll try uh, putting the wind to our back. If not, we'll try getting it over the shoulder, be it uh, crosswind, left or right. If that uh, can't do it, then we'll really gut it out and uh, start fishing uh, right into the wind if need be. Uh, with these uh, micro fly rods, you definitely have to pay attention to the wind. I uh, have used uh, other rods, switch rods, uh, heavier weight rods, and um, uh, heavier uh, weight forward lines, and uh, been able to handle the wind. But uh, again, with these little rods, definitely have to pay attention to the wind. All right, uh, so there it is, right at the tip again, where our backing starts and our line kind of swiftly here, but basically 10, 11 yards, add the fly, uh, the tip it to it, get you about 11 yards right here, come over there, not bad. And that was with the uh, cross wind instead of the wind behind us. So I'm not gonna try it with our head wind because we definitely know uh, we need to work on that uh, ability, especially with these little rods. Go ahead and do one more demo of you, cross wind, and just give you an idea uh, the capability of this rod. All right, so uh, in this example, what we'll do is just have the camera facing us, and we'll just uh, do a couple of casts, show you how we can get the line to the um, to the camera. So there's a shot there. Go set up another one here. Right there. Not bad. There's another one, and another one. This one's uh, right at the backing now, so we're uh, past the backing. I think we're at the end of the fly line uh, capacity of the fly line as well as the backing. Here we are just uh, going past the camera. Let's try it again here. And uh, there we go. Another one past the camera. Cool beans. All right, that one took it at the uh, reel's line capacity, so uh, we extended uh, the casting to basically the whole length of the line and the backing. There's not much backing on here, but bottom line, uh, you can definitely cast with this thing. And give you an idea of no more backing. Cool beans.